nothing more beautiful than the American flag. I'm a retired military vet, and I dedicated a lot of my life towards protecting that thing. But anyways, this video is about making a flagpole a lot stronger. The flagpole that I bought, I spent about $145 for it. It is not the drop-down kind. It's the outside pulley, uh, stationary type. And it's a decent flagpole, I like it. Um, but the one thing I was concerned about was having it bend or break uh, onto my cars, <laughs> especially uh, in the driveway, uh, or just, you know, having to replace it prematurely because of a big windstorm. I always take the flag down if it gets really windy um, but I'm pretty confident that the flagpole is going to hold up. And the reason why is because I strengthen it from the inside. And that's what I'm going to show you. The first thing you're going to need is two 10 foot sticks of one and one quarter inch schedule 40 PVC pipe and a coupler. Basically you'll put those two pieces together full length coupled, and that'll give you approximately 20 feet of PVC pipe. The next thing you're going to need is 20 feet of chain link fence railing. Uh, this is the stuff that goes on the top, not vertical, but the horizontal pieces that go along the top that the fence uh, goes to. And if you get two 10 foot sticks of that, one will come with a female end uh, that will go inside of the regular end of the pipe. And when you put those two pieces together, obviously you're gonna end up with 20 feet of that as well. The fence post slides inside of the PVC pipe almost perfectly. There's, I mean, very little bit of um, difference between the inside of the PVC pipe and the outside of the galvanized pipe. So basically, you're gonna assemble your flag on the ground, and then before you put it up, you're gonna slide this 20 feet of PVC with the galvanized uh, inside all the way inside your flag and then you're gonna mount your pole just like you would any other way. Uh, the hardest part about this is actually boosting the entire unit up. Uh, my son and I did it. It wasn't that big a deal, but it was, it was not easy. But you just gotta push it up like Iwo Jima. Uh, but once you get that thing in the ground, um, everything slides to the bottom. The PVC pipe comes almost to the top and the galvanize comes just a little bit farther than that, but it all fits uh, very easily within this 20-foot uh, flagpole that I bought. So it's longer than 20 feet. It's designed to be 20 feet out of the ground. Um, so you end up with um, a lot of this stuff in the ground as well. There's about three feet of each in the ground the way that I did it. I also used Sika, which is a foam-based product. And that's how I mounted the flagpole. If you don't know about Sika, I'll tell you what, you should look into it. You can go anywhere on YouTube and type in uh, foam post, would probably get you there. Uh, but it's called Sika. There's also another brand called Secure Set, which I looked for but couldn't find uh, at the same price. But Lowe's carries Sika. It's basically a two part uh, bag. You bust the bag open internally. Uh, squish it back and forth to mix the two parts together and you pour it in the hole and in about an hour you've got a fully set post that's that's done uh, no cleanup no concrete no mixing no nothing uh, it's amazing all right well uh, this post now or pole is now the normal strength that it would have been plus it's got the additional strength of the pvc and the galvanized on the inside there's no way that thing is going to bend uh, to the point where it'll kink and, and bend over. Uh, and as long as you keep your uh, lanyard tight, even if your flag's not on there, uh, there's no way it can come apart because you're actually pulling down on the top to the bottom and you're, you're holding all those sections together. So I hope this helps someone who's trying to decide between spending $350 on a industrial or commercial pole and uh, you know trying to get really a little cheaper on a residential poll, uh, hopefully it helps you. All right, thanks, bye.